Well, give me a second, headset. Oh my god, my ears hurt from falling asleep with my head. How long was I fucking out for? When did I fall asleep? Oh man, that's crazy as fuck. I don't remember falling asleep. Dude, I didn't even feel tired. I was just playing Fallout 4. And then I just woke up. Like, literally just woke up. I don't know. So I found another, I found another weapon, another melee weapon in Fallout 4 that's better than my other sword that I had. It does a little bit less damage, but all in all it does more damage. Because it does 145 damage, right? My other sword does 165. So it's 20 points less. But the new sword I got, if the target is at 100% health when I hit him, my sword does double damage, so it does 290 damage. Yeah, which... Yeah, the first hit is 290, so now you take that 290 now instead of the 165, and you add in all my... my you, you should see my broadcast on, uh, on Fallout 4, you watch me creeping around in stealth and shit and just one shot shit like it's nothing like I was doing that with my fang my other sword because it was 165 damage and then it was doing times 12 and then all the other shit being added in um you can farm legendaries and it, it's not a guarantee you it's not like you go somewhere specifically to farm certain legendaries it's just um there's certain maps or certain spots on the map where if you go inside there it's like an area you clear out and um when you clear it out there's gonna be at least one or two legendary monsters in that area in that building they say say it's like a, uh, a police station and there's like two legendary to spawn in there so what you do is you go to this police station you do a quick save right outside the front door or right as right as you walk in it doesn't matter you 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 save well, you actually do a hard save. You do a hard save so it actually shows up, right? And um, you can do it right as you, right after you walk in the door, or right before you walk in the door. It doesn't matter. But you do a save before you start killing anything, and then you go through and you kill everything in there. And depending on what legendary item drops from the monster, if you like it, you keep it and you just keep going about your merry on way. Because if you keep it and then you leave, you have to like wait X amount of in-game time for it to actually reset again. But if you don't like it, you can just load from that save and start all over again and just do it again until you get the weapon that you want. But... It's completely random. There's like thousands of legendary items on that game. Like there's sniper rifles that 50 cal sniper rifles that um do kind of the same thing but are different. Like there's there's one sniper rifle that does double damage if the target has full health when you shoot them. There's another one that shoots two bullets at the same time. So. And, I, I mean, in, in hence, 
Yeah, and hence, the one that shoots the two bullets at the same time is just a little bit better because if you're already in combat with somebody and you accidentally hit them and it doesn't kill them, the other one's not going to be as effective. You're not going to get the d double damage anymore. But if you're built up, if you're built as a crit build like I am, I'm a stealthy crit, crit build. I, I played my... Uh, Skyrim character the same way my, my one of my setups I don't give anything a chance to actually attack me and if it does attack me I just I just turn around and dip because I have a perk that if I crouch like if I'm running and then I crouch down people far enough away from me lose sight of me and all I have to do is hit a shadow and as soon as I hit a shadow crouch down wait half a second I turn invisible and then I go from being in combat to being in caution and then I go back to hidden and then I will proceed to go back in and start killing again I don't like confrontations in that game because a lot of the shit in that game it hits really hard but I I play on very hard mode I don't play on survival for the simple fact that of the fast travel the game's way too big and there's no other means of getting around besides running and fuck that I mean I do I do like the, the survival because it actually makes it a survival you got you gotta worry about your health you gotta worry about your drinking your hunger your sleep your and all that shit comes into play but you can't fast travel and it's just like no if they would let me fast travel, I would probably play on survival mode just because of the more experience. But this, I have a, a survival mode set up because for some reason it doesn't like override it. And it's like, it's kind of like the same game, but it's different in a way, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but it shows up as two different save games on my thing whenever I watch whenever I loaded I got I got dr. hop and then I got dr. hop survival mode yes my character's name is dr. hop got problem you want to fight about it so what I got a tank you want to fight about it Huh? Yeah. Uh. Great. Taking them apart, and then I just leaving them there. Yeah. Well, you can't have. I mean, I've seen people. They they can rock it, and I mean, I could too. I just. I don't like it because for one when you're in stealth when you're crouched down and you hit something for the very first hit does a lot of damage my my sniper rifle in stealth does four times 4.4 times the damage my melee weapons do times 12 my handguns do times 6 my silenced handguns so I mean why would I sacrifice and not take advantage of that much raw power just to run around gun-ho shooting stuff I mean granted I, I will I will shoot stuff I've got thousands of bullets though because I, I don't really use my guns that much but if I'm clearing out an area and Someone's in, in going to be a tough spot to get to with the melee, or I just really don't feel like going to get him with the melee. I'll just pull out the sniper and shoot him in the face and keep going because it's going to kill them. Because my sniper does like 215 damage with a 4.4 multiplier. I mean, it, it's, it's doing a lot of damage. I got a gauze rifle that does almost 300 damage, and it does... Um... 
the the four times four, four point four multiplier too. But the crazy thing about the gauze rifle, you can actually charge up its attack, and instead of shooting one beam at a time with it, you can charge it up and shoot ten rounds out of it as one massive blast. And if you do that, it, it and I don't give a fuck what you shoot; it's dead. You're gonna one shot everything with that gun if you supercharge it. I don't care what it is from stealth. If the target doesn't know you're attacking him, you're gonna kill him in one hit. Just because that charged up attack with the gauze rifle, it's just so stupid. And I'm pretty sure I have a uh, a legendary one. Cause you can tell if a weapon's legendary or not. I'll have a star next to his name, and it'll do something crazy. Like I got a gun. It's called Reba. And it does bonus damage to murlocs and bugs. It does a 50% bonus damage to murlocs and bugs. Which is really cool. And it makes sense because the guy that you get it from, you go to like this little city. And as you walk in, like, you like set something off or something. You create a bunch of noise and all these murlocs start to swarm. And he like, hey, dumbass, get up here before you get us both killed. So you hurry up and make it up to the rooftop. And you help him defend off this little little town that he has set up. And then you do a couple quests for him. And he gives you the gun and it's called Reba. And like I said, it's 50% bonus damage while attacking murlocs and bugs. But... And to me, that's not that's not useful. That useful. I've got a uh, a nocturnal 50 cal rifle. Um, the later it gets in the night, the more damage my gun does. Uh, the um, the 50 cal that I use though, it's the never-ending 50 cal, and basically it takes all of my ammo that I have for 50 cal I've got like 400 bullets for the 50 cal that's how many bullets are in my clip I don't have to reload that gun like however many bullets I have that's my clip there I don't have to reload that I got a uh, a 10 millimeter pistol that's like that too it's a never-ending silence 10 mil pistol but I have a um, I have one pistol, it's called Deliverance, or Deliver, something like that, and it's a little bit stronger than the, uh, the never-ending one, it only holds 16 rounds in a clip, but the amount of energy or action points required to use it is so low, so low, like, it's crazy, if you've seen my, uh, my gameplay on on that and seeing how much action points it takes to use that 10 millimeter pistol it's so low it's crazy <sighs> nobody doing the broadcast yet I wonder how many people went, went in and out of that last game while I was broadcasting. Running around in circles, facing the sky. That's funny as shit. I can't believe. And I don't even remember falling asleep. I was out. Like a fucking light, dude. I don't remember at all. I was just sitting here playing. I can't believe I didn't wake up dead. And you're playing, doing a mission on uh, Fallout 4. And next thing you know, I'm waking up, running around in circles, looking at the sky. That's funny. I was in that broadcast for three, uh, three and a half hours too. So I don't know. I think it was a little bit longer than that, but yeah, I don't know how many people jumped in and out. And seeing me just running around in circles. It's too funny. Oh god, I wish I could have seen how many people ran in and out. Watching me run around in circles, see how long they stayed, and then... 
<laughs> really, is it, I don't know if I snored or not. Really hearing me snore, watch my character run around in circles. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that is too funny. When, when the hell did I turn music on on my phone? It's playing music. I don't even remember turning it on. We see it. You know, whenever oh, I did uh, the two new dungeons last night, two of the new dungeons last night, uh, scale something, scale crawler, and uh, I did yeah, scale crawler, and I did uh, fang layer. Oh, I guess that's the only two. Well, Fang Layer is actually. I thought Fang Layer was really. Wait, was it? I don't know. The last boss in uh, in Scale Caller was super easy. The, the dragon. There's one. That's. That's not either one of those two. That's, um... The lava that kept coming down. That's, uh, Bloodroot Forge. Yeah. And there... Because there's nothing... Because in the end of, uh, Stormcaller, you fight a guy, and he, uh... He summons two adds, and if you don't kill him, they'll freeze everybody in the group, and then he does this, uh, poisonous dragon breath. You got to stand in a certain spot, and then that—that's that one. But there's there's no fire in that one. Nah, that was easy. The dragon at the end of Fang Layer was a little bit, a little bit mechanical, but we did a normal flew through it. Oh my God! I can't believe I passed out so hard. I even took two of my medicines too, and these. They're supposed to have caffeine in it. I'm surprised they didn't kick me in the butt and wake me up. You out of the PvP zone? I kinda don't like that I have like a portion of my screen being taken up right now because of this broadcast. It's got like it's 
probably about two, maybe two and a half inches of my st on the side of my screen. Where it says on the air, it's got my avatar picture, and then it shows that I have a microphone, no camera, there's nobody in the broadcast, and there's no messages. And it says the broadcast has started to stop the broadcast. Broad to stop broadcasting, press the share button, and then select broadcast setting. Actually, here, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what my screen looks like right now. Screen so I can fit that on the screen. Who, who wants to do? Are you, are you serious? I don't care. You realize I have I have fifty three thousand health. Does he realize I have fifty three thousand health and I have a board and sword? I mean, you get come on, seriously, dude. He walked away after I said that. Like, really, you want to duel me? Well, you're you're a DPS. I can understand that. I mean, I would gladly make him look like a fool if I'm just fucking watch it. everybody here watch him beat on me and he can't fucking kill me because most likely he's not going to be able to kill me, especially if he's a caster. Casters have the hardest time killing me. Templars can do it if they spam that stupid spear. Because it counts as, it doesn't say it, it says it does magic damage, but it's not magic damage. It counts it as oblivion. Because I can't... I can't stop that damage with my shields, it just goes right through it. it I don't ref... Yeah, I can't stop that damage. I don't know. I've tried all the different bubbles that this game offers, and it just tears right through all of those bubbles. And even if someone has it so that they're like you, because you don't have it set up to where you do bonus damage to people with with bubbles that bubble br or shattering blows, yeah, you do more damage against a a bubbled target, so you can break the bubble faster. Like even somebody who doesn't have shattering blow if they just spam that spear the whole time it'll kill me I can't defend against it where let's queue up you can find a random oh Please, nothing insane. Please, nothing insane. I don't feel like doing something insane. Let's do like a normal one. Come on. What the hell? Alright. I'm down one for. Ah, oh, two. Fungal Grotto, two, really? Come on. This one sucks. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm not saying they will, but if they don't wait for me, most likely they're gonna die. Gonna have a bad time. 
French fry when you should have pizza. You're gonna have a bad time. I need a new food bar. Food booth.
Come on. By the ebony blade, I will end you! knocking me back oh my god it's over these people suck Nice. Duh. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Alrighty then. I'll sit here and wait for two noobs. Do more noobs. Knobs. Oh, 
Sache. Oh. You're dirty. <coughs> Bones are all dirty. Not cute. There we go. Darn it. Right, it looks like somebody picked him in the nads. His name Jake. Yeah. I'm Jake. Mm -mm. What is he? If he's melee, I'm kicking him out. Oh, Templar. So, he could be melee. I'll find out when he gets here if he's got a, if he's got a staff or not. Yeah, but we can't have melee in here. Not for the last fight. Last fight's bad for melee. Last fight, I'm like completely useless. I just spam my chain. Huh? No, the last fight. The, the chick at the beginning of the dungeon when you get all the way through and then you go all the way back to the beginning to fight her with the bubble. Pulling weeds up and down. Oh my god! He's a freaking melee user. Ugh. Hopefully, he knows how to use that bow. He doesn't have his air just for the buffs. What's the other one we got? Sorcerer doesn't mean he's not melee though. He's 83. Oh my god. You, oh no. Bye bye. Bye Jake. His name is Jake. It's not even my name is Jake. His name is Jake. Who's his? Is that your boyfriend's name? Oh my god, and we got a pet Sork. <sighs> yeah, but it's a freaking pet Sork. Like, seriously? Pet Sorks suck. he does something stupid and pulls the boss after getting kicked because if if, it, if, it, if he does we can just run out the door and it'll reset it TC 1479 let's see uh, he's 278 yeah, a little bit low-ish but this is a uh, it is fungal too Why do people play with these stupid pet builds? It's so dumb, you sacrifice so much damage to have those two pets up. And in certain boss fights, like uh, the last boss in, in uh, Dire Frost Keep, 
the boss can actually target one of the pets if they drain the life from them, and there's no way to break it because the pets don't have a break free. All right, done. It's a 50% chance. Just throw it down. Throw down your big AOE heal. Another freaking, another mage, or another melee.
should have, that should have absorbed a good portion of it. I can't hit if you heal me. You gotta heal all this. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh.
right here. This way.
wake me up in this place, son. Freaking taunt on your head. Come here. Oh my god. This is a boss fight I can sell them easily. You stand right here in this corner. It takes a lot more ever to kill her, but she can't kill me. that I had it's probably hit me has like trucks. It hit me for 17k while blocking. But I returned the damage back at her face. So I don't take any of that. 17,425. Make a punch yourself in the face with it. Okay, I think we'll go off of that one instead. Because it's starting to 
The reason the DPS gives in there is so they can exit on the healer. If the healer walked close enough to the portal, it would pull him in. Or if I did. Oh, do you have Vigor? Vigor's a good, good, uh, kill for this fight because that really does that. He's stealing that. I don't know this. something in here or we just then we gotta hit this thing.
end this now. By the ape, what's happening? I can't see! So you're the ones killing my precious flock. The stone belongs to my mistress, Mephala. Return it, and your death will be swift. As long as they stay like somewhat close, I like that, I got the revive.
Oh, let's see here. Did I get a ring? I got spider cultists. Oh my god, dude, I found a fucking healing set. Last night. Out of the new dungeon. Where is it? Well, oh, like a, a resto staff is what I got. You ready for this set? Oh wait, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that. Where the fuck is it? Hang on, let me find it. it wasn't a helmet? Chest piece, maybe? No. Shoulders, no. Waist. Oh, here it is. It was a waist that I got. Okay. <laughs> Two piece max magicka recover or magicka recovery. Three piece magicka recovery. Four piece adds two percent healing done. Five piece increases the duration of all of all major minor major and minor buffs and shields you apply to yourself and allies by forty percent. So all of your buffs and bubbles have a forty percent increase to duration. That's almost half. So if it's 10 seconds, it would be it would be 14 second duration instead of 10, which would be amazing for your grand healing, and your uh, your spell power cure. It, it would pretty much be up 100% because of how often you can it and shit, man, dude, that's crazy. 40% increase to your times. Well, what's what's your duration for, just say, uh, spell power cure? What's the duration for it? I gotta look and see if somebody's at my house, cause ten seconds, so it would be another fourteen seconds. Well, not another fourteen. It would just. It would be a 14, yeah, yeah. Which another another four seconds added to that man? Crazy. What you doing, Willis? No, there's there's there yeah there's no cooldown on it but if you could increase the time on it even not just spell power cure itself but just like your bubbles and your uh your yeah your other your other ones that you get from uh from your other one what what is it your uh, grand healing let me answer this phone call real quick.
Nothing like... Buying or... It's all those shadow guys up on top of the hill that we ran from. They're standing up there looking down at you trying to figure out how to get to you. We already left them back in the shiny. The shiny. Uncrustables? That's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without the crust.
It doesn't have crust. That's why they're called uncrustables. Jam a bunch of peanut. Yeah, they, they jam a bunch of peanut butter and jelly in between two slices and make it kind of like real thick and shit and then they just take like a stamp and cookie cutter and cut out the center. Yeah, those things are amazing. I like the, uh, the strawberry ones. There's the blueberry ones. It's, I, oh man, I get... Whenever I was in school and they had them, oh my god, I'd be freaking getting them off of everybody. Like, yelling, let me get your own crustable. Go get one so I can have it. I love those things, man. I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, though. These two have been dueling for about five minutes now. Two right there over your shoulder. I'm sitting here watching them.
it's finally over. No main comment. Oh, the Muns tried dealing you. Yes.
<laughs> He's healing me. <laughs> yeah, it does. A little bit. Yeah, very little bit.
Who said that? He's gonna one shot me. Oh, that dude. Oh. No, he said he's gonna one shot me. Yeah, the gore, the frozen gore, yeah, it looks cool as shit. <laughs> it's shit and snowflakes? Nice. Well, snowflakes are dropping off of it. shield ah oh, he's got my helmet too yeah he's got the dramatha yeah that's the heavy one the mazaton helmet he doesn't have the sword though why doesn't he have the dramatha sword really
He killed himself. He said he was gonna one shot me and he killed himself. I get somebody brought watching the broadcast. Yep. Oh, they did that. horses real quick. It's not, it won't take me long. Shut up, cat. I ain't feeding you yet. Oh, man, I'm all sweaty. I didn't even realize how sweaty my back was. I hate that. He's sitting there, I didn't even realize I was sweating. I don't even know why I'm sweating. I wasn't even doing anything in that duel. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking standing there using like three abilities, four abilities. I don't have my fan on. It was. That's probably why I'm sweating. I don't have my fan on because I had I. 
turned it off this morning because it was like super cold this morning in my room. It's in here freezing, so I shut my fan off. Well, I don't shut my AC off because either way, my AC doesn't come up here. Because it being that it's a two story house, all the cold air that goes upstairs just goes right back down to downstairs. So. And I get all the heat from downstairs, so I hate living in a two-story house. I'd rather just have one big-ass one-story house. Let's say, rip, a, rip apart the floor in my room and put insulation, like, insulation down in there and shit and everything. Because they don't insulate it, you know? They don't insulate the in-between on a two-story house. They just do the... The exterior walls in your roof they don't they don't insulate the in between so ever like it, whenever it's when it's cold outside your downstairs is fucking freezing or when you got your AC cranking your downstairs is freezing and your upstairs is hot as shit and then when it's cold outside and you got the heat going your upstairs is blazing heat and your downstairs is freezing Shut up. I know. I know. Come on. Did you hear that? She like fucking attacked me with that cry. my shirt's not that soaked it just feels really soaked because it's cold as shit now and if you're gonna do that I might jump back on I don't like like you guys man I don't like playing this game with other people because they suck I tried running Bloodroot Forge last night. I explained the fight to this person two fucking times. Told him exactly how to do it. And he wasn't listening. He just did his own fucking thing. And he kept causing us to wipe. So I just kept kicked him out. And we get a new person. Explain the fight to him. Tell him exactly what needs to be done so we can do this. Same thing. Totally ignoring what I'm saying and doing their own fucking thing. And it's just like, motherfucking stupid people. Like... God, people, they, they get into a boss fight and they get tunnel vision. All they see is the boss. And it's like, you can't do that. There are certain bosses you do that with and there are certain bosses you can't. There are certain bosses where ads have to take priority because they will fucking destroy the group if you don't. And there's there's certain boss fights where the ads... It doesn't really matter if you let the ads pile up, because they're not going to do that much damage. Yeah, I might go back to, uh, Fallout. I figure I'm going to dip out for a little bit. I'm, at, I'm level 83 now on Fallout. Yeah, and I'm, I'm digging this new sword, because it's, it's fucking dope. Like I said, it does it does double damage if the target's at full health. So that's 250 or 290. And then you you do the multiplier cuz I get the times 12 multiplier for attacking somebody out of stealth from a hidden attack. I get a times 12. So that's 290 times 12 and then I get another 25 or 30% damage bonus added on to that from my other perks. So, I mean, I'm doing a lot of fucking damage that first hit. And it, uh, there's not much shit that can withstand that much damage that fast. It's just boom. And it's guaranteed a crit. So, you're, uh, so I mean, you're doing 
the maximum damage every time. And that's why I tell people whenever, like my cousin, when he started playing Fallout 4, and shit, I told him, because he likes doing the run around fucking Rambo style shit, and I'm like, yeah, dude, it's cool and all, but you waste so much material, you're constantly repairing your gear, you're running on it, you're running through your other resources really fast, because you're constantly healing up and everything, you gotta use the other, you gotta use drugs in the game so that you have damage resistance and your action point regen and all this other shit, you're constantly going to clinics to get rid of your addictions and... It's just like, it's not worth it, man, because if you save your drugs in Fallout 4 and sell them, you could make a lot of money off of that. I mean, granted, when you get to the point where I'm at, I've got 70,000 gold on that game, or 70,000 bottle caps. I don't even need money, because I go to a vendor and buy something. You know, I buy everything I want out of the vendor, give him like three or 4,000 gold, and then I go through my inventory and I sell them all of my bullshit. You know, my drugs and my alcohol and other stuff that I don't use because I don't need to use it. I get all my money back. So I go to a vendor, buy a bunch of shit off of him, and he ends up giving me all of his money. So, I mean, it's... When you get to that point like that, it's it's crazy. You know, I mean, money's useless for me because, I, I, like I said, I don't need it. I got 70,000 bottle caps and I don't use it. I go to a vendor. Say the vendor has, like, a 1,000 bottle caps in his inventory. I'll buy 6,000 bottle caps worth of shit off of him and leave with all of his bottle caps. It'll actually say at the bottom of the trade how many bottle caps the, the trader has, and it'll say zero. Or, like, one or two if I can't get all of them. It'll just be, like, one or two. And I'll take all of it. So I'll get all of that shit for free. Plus I'll take all of the money he had. And I'm not even hacking or cheating. Doing that. That's just legit shit. Because I don't waste my stuff. <clears throat> and the fact that I don't use ammo. That often. Like I very very rarely use a gun. So I'm constantly sacking up ammo. Like the other night. I bought. Like close to 30,000 gold uh, bottle caps worth of stuff from these two vendors and I walked away with both of those vendors completely empty on bottle caps I bought about 30 grand from two vendors and got all of it back plus their bottle caps that they started with because I sold a bunch of my uh, ammo because I don't use it I mean when you got when you got a stack of 5,000 plus ammo for each different type of ammo type, you can do shit like that. And that's like when I played uh, Skyrim. I made that mini army build. I fucking went rolling around with like seven or eight bodyguards with me. Just rolling through everything fucking army style, you know, walking in there. I had rally on one hand and a heal on the other hand. And if I can rally everybody up, give them more damage and damage resistance, whatever rally did. I don't remember what rally did. But, and then I would heal them. You know, just spot heal them. And they would kill everything. I just hung out in the back and just, just healed. Kept everybody alive. Then my little goon squad kill everything. I mean, that's, that's one of the best ways to run through Skyrim, though. Because it's for dragon fights and everything. And the big boss fights and everything. Oh my god, it's so easy when you got a fucking seven or eight man goon squad with you. Because then at, at, at a certain point you get a, a perk in that game where your abilities won't hurt your, your friends. And you can actually use a couple of your offensive abilities. But you don't even have to if you, if you pick up the right ones, the right followers. Get the right ones. And get little fucking Doom Squad rolling around. It's fucking awesome. I love that shit. Yeah, it's nasty. Huh? Yeah, well, there's a certain quest in, in Skyrim that give you followers that it's like, oh, hey, take this group of people over to here for me. Yeah, and just never turn the quest in.
Oh, no, Fallout... Um... I think you can only have... Two, at the most, I think. Because I think you get... Your one companion... Your legit companion... And then I think you can get a quest to pick up and take somebody somewhere, and then you can have two. I mean, there's no way of healing, but your companions won't die in that game. They'll drop down to the ground, but they won't actually die, die. They'll, dr they'll drop down to zero health and drop down to the knee and just hang out there for a minute until they heal back up. But with my stealthy build that I play on, on Fallout 4, I don't like having a follower with me because they always alert to people because they're... Their stealth isn't as high as mine, so it's harder to get in and get that hit and stealth attack because they see us before I can do it because of my stupid follower. So Fallout 4, I solo. I don't even. I don't have any companions. I I go around and collect them all. Like I got on Fallout 4, I got strong. I got both the dogs. I got a lot of them. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have all of them, but I have a good portion of the different followers you can get on Fallout 4. But they're all hanging out at my main base. I don't I don't ever use them. The little fucking work slaves for me working at my main base. Harvesting plants and scavenging shit for me. Other than that, I don't I don't use them. They don't follow me around in combat. They give away my position too much. Fallout 4 is cool. I want to get really tempted to get this season pass because they got the season pass for it right now on sale half off. And it gives you access to all the DLCs that come out. It's normally 50 bucks. It's on sale right now for 25. 50% off. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, you gonna bounce out for a while? I'm just, I'm probably going to jump back over to Fallout, so, just shoot me a message whenever you get back on in case I don't see you come back on if I fall asleep again. I'm going to jump back over to Fallout, and that's around on that because I can't stand playing with noobs on this game, they drive me insane. Well these... Those two I ran into last night were pretty decent. It was a healer and a uh, DPS. I guess they they got about seven in their guild that they're seven of them are in real tight, and they want to try to get uh, trials trial group set up. I mean, if they got fucking seven right there, we got three. That's that's uh, 11 right there, or 10 right there, so I mean, you'd only need two more people, we could, we could pug in two people, that's easy as shit, I, I wouldn't mind getting in and doing some, trying out some trials and stuff. For the blue skin, the blue lightning skin. I already asked. You're gonna, you're gonna be back later tonight, right? All right. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm tired. 
know how I just woke up not that long ago. Nice. I've I've heard about it and seen it on Netflix, but I haven't I haven't watched it yet. Someone just requested me a duel. No, I don't. I don't watch Shameless. Oh, somebody's here. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, hopefully it's not my mom, because I was kind of supposed to feed these horses before she got back. Yeah, Iron Man. Yeah, uh, I don't really know what you're gonna say. I'm gonna be a little bit mad because they're not fed yet. Whoop de doo. Yeah, it's my mom. Alright. Why are they getting in this house? I don't think they can get in through this door. Well, I guess they can. Alright, man. I'll catch you a little bit later then. Later. <laughs>